We're getting ready to finish up our passive interface configuration here. The screen looks a little bit different. We are picking up right where we left off. I'm not going to mention any names, Linda, but someone around here forgot to hit the record button when they gave me the signal. And uh, that's kind of important. I know you're new here. <laughs> it's all good, but we are at the same place here with router one. We were looking around on the interface configuration uh, to try to get a passive interface configured and we didn't see anything. And that's because the command is actually under the routing process itself. And if we use iOS help here, we can see it just came up. There it is with the letters P there where it says passive interface and that is right there. Now the description here is suppress routing updates on an interface. Uh, I think that's a better description if you're looking at RIP or EIGRP, but here with OSPF what we're actually suppressing are those hellos. So let's go ahead and have a look at our options. And I'm pretty sure you know we're going to get a really long list here and we're going to make the fast Ethernet interface passive. And by the way, there are no options after that. So that's all you can do. Now there is one other interesting option here in this list because you look down and it's like, okay, it's a bunch of interface types, a few we've run into and a few we haven't hit yet and a few you may never run into. But the interesting option there is at the very bottom and you can actually make this the default for all of your interfaces. Now that's pretty powerful stuff and I don't know that I've ever seen that in a production network. But what you could do, let's say you had 20 interfaces, or even just 10, and you wanted to suppress the routing updates on eight of them. What you could do then is just use passive interface default and then do a no passive interface for the interfaces that should not be passive, whichever cuts down on the typing. But you do want to know about that default option. But if you use that, you'll probably want to do some fine tuning. So notice though that when we put the passive interface command in, I didn't get any kind of OSPF related console message. Hmm. So there's nothing here about reloading. There's nothing here about clearing the processes, anything like that, because we don't have to do that. But I mean, we didn't even get a message that said passive interface is running, you know, or enabled on fast Ethernet 00. So maybe we ought to do a little detective work and make sure, first off, that it is been configured correctly and then we'll go ahead of course and do some verification as well. Now one command, we haven't really spent much time with this if any, that's kind of a classic command, show IP protocols. And this is a non-protocol specific command in that it's not just OSPF or RIP or EIGRP, it's showing you all of your IP protocols. Here we just have one running but there's some good information here starting at the top, it's going to give you your process in, uh, number and show you if you have any filter list running, which we don't. It shows you the red. It shows you how many areas this router is in. This is good stuff because, you know, Cisco does have some guidelines about how many areas a router should be in, that kind of thing. And we'll talk about those a little bit in an upcoming video. But this is a place where you can see immediately, hey, how many areas is this router in? Maximum path four, we're definitely going to be talking about that one here shortly, as well as reference bandwidth unit is 100 meg. But right now, what we're mostly concerned with, or totally concerned with, is this piece of information right here, passive interfaces, fast Ethernet 00. So we know that it is running. Always a good idea, though, to know how to see that information more than once, you know? So I'm running show IP OSPF interface brief here, and while nothing here specifically says, hey, Fast Ethernet 00 is passive. There's one hint here that's pretty strong, and it's right under here under neighbors, 0 slash 0. So we don't have any neighbors off that interface. So we either already have a passive interface running, or we're looking at a candidate to be a passive interface. If you want the specific information for any particular OSPF enabled interface, just specify that particular interface. And we've seen this one before. I got the hello and dead timers in the middle. Lots of great OSPF info here at the top. But what has changed and that we have not seen to this point is no hellos. Because otherwise, what were we seeing? We were seeing something along the line of next hello is expected in, you know, that kind of thing. And it went to the milliseconds. Well, here it's just telling you point blank. We're not really expecting anything here. And we're not sending anything because we have made it a passive interface. So that is about it. We've got our neighbor count is zero. We certainly expect that. And again, passive interface is just stopping the hellos from leaving. Not necessarily, for, not from coming in. The thing is, on the other end of that configuration right now, on the other end of the segment that router one is on, of course, we don't have anything that's going to send a hello in. That might change in a minute. 
So we've looked at show IP protocols, show IP OSPF interface, serial, excuse me, fast Ethernet 00, and we've verified that it's running, but how are we really going to verify that it's working the way we want it to work? We've got to run a debug again, and we've got to check some routes, because let's go ahead and run debug IP OSPF hello. And we might have to wait a few seconds, because of course the only ones we're hoping to see here are the ones leaving the serial interface and coming in. And we know those are 30 seconds apart, but we see now here are some hellos being sent. They're going out the serial interface. Here's a hello that came in from router 2. And there's one from router 3. And we're going to wait just a few more seconds to be absolutely sure. But one thing we don't see and that we don't want to see right now is send hello to 224.005 via fast ethernet 0 slash 0. We don't see that because we're not sending hellos out. So, so far... The passive interface is working exactly the way we wanted it to. What else we got to check? It's got to be something else we got to check. Anybody remember? Ah, the route. Because we do all this. You know, we tried the no network solution, right? And that really wasn't much of a solution because while we got rid of the problem, we created another problem. And here, though, we're going to go ahead and send a ping before we can check the table. That looks good. Show IP route OSPF. And there you go. There's the route. We go over to three. There's the route, and there's the ping. So right now we have the best of all possible worlds. Router 1 is able to successfully advertise 10110-24 to the other routers in the network. Again, all these are in one big area, zero. But the best part of it there, of course, is that we're not sending six hellos a minute, six totally unnecessary hellos a minute out Router 1. But what happens, though, if suddenly, hmm, we do have a neighbor, a potential neighbor out there. I'm going to give you some real world tips and things I've run into over the years with it. And we will do that coming up next.